Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I am Meezy69 and we are back and this time we are back uh, not talking about a specific tank. Um, we're talking about how to get mastery ace tanker badges and people seem to get confused with mastery badges like I've seen posts, uh, screenshots of high damage battles and they've questioned why haven't I got an ace and I've seen like 8,000 damage Death Star battles and it's only a first class and I've seen the same for grills uh, I've seen the same for mediums I've, I've seen a lot of them and people keep asking the question like I'm a tier 10 and I've done 5,000 damage in a medium why haven't I got an ace why is it only first class it's not just about damage. Damage is only a part. It's, that's only it's a big part, but it's still only a part of getting the ace tanker, the golden, the golden M. The damage is only a little bit. So there is a lot of factors uh, that you need to take into account how to get the mastery badge. Now, it's done by XP, so you need. I can't remember what is it, 90% or 99% uh, more XP than players in the last seven days. Now, to get XP, there is a lot of different ways. So, damage is one of them. Um, spotting enemies is another one. Assistant damage and so on. And supremacy points, you get a lot of uh, XP for supremacy points, which is why you will see me when I'm trying to ace a tank. Uh, that I haven't aced, you will always see me playing Supremacy because it is a lot easier to go and cap a base and you'll get points from that. So that's pretty much the gift of it. It's not just damage and people get so confused. Um, for instance, I have seen a 7,100 uh, damage in a grill and it was only second class. Um, myself in a grill I have got 3,000 damage and it was still more XP than that 7.1k damage and I got the ace because it was supremacy I capped all the bases got loads of XP from that done 3k damage got like five kills um, and all that is taken into consideration with the XP so this battle for example I have got five kills. It is mines. Um, and I spotted my own targets. And again, people get confused with assistant damage. They think, I spotted that tank. Why haven't I got any assistant damage? Now, you only get that assistant damage if, if you're spotting the target. And your team, the red tank is out of your team's spot. Uh, view range like spotting range and if you're opening that target and your team are shooting him then that's that's when you'll get the assistant damage now this battle i got 500 assistant damage uh, i spotted four tanks and i got five kills but i also damaged seven of the enemy team so i damaged every single tank um with my spotting damage um my damage, my kills, that all got taken into consideration and I got 1600 XP, which is enough for a mastery. Now moving on to the next battle, it's got three tier 10s in this battle. So if you're a tier nine and you're shooting tier 10s, you'll, that will also generate more XP, especially if you kill them, because you're, you're killing a, a tier higher tank. So that will go in your favor when it becomes when it comes to the XP at the end. Now again you'll see I'm in the middle of the map. I'm the one spotting this T54. I'm the one now spotting the T57. And I was the one spotting the E50M. So I'm spotting the team. I've just spotted that SU122. So I'm the one spotting the team and I'm getting my own damage. So I'm not spotting the team uh, for my team to get damage. Where you see there the SU has just been shot by a few tanks but I'm spotting him so that actually 
the SU is out of their their range so I'm getting that assistant damage because he's out of the range now the AMX there I'm spotting him but he's not out of my team's range so I'm not getting the assistant damage from him but I'm still keeping open all the other tanks so I'm keeping open this T-54 I'm keeping open the E-50M and I'm now keeping open the Death Star uh, I'm gonna get myself a kill so there's one kill there's the E-50M still spotting I'm, I'm, I'm getting bounces as well um, so I'm not taking no damage and now the pattern has gone in so now whatever tank gets shot I will not be getting the, the assistant damage so the pattern has just YOLO'd straight in which gives me the opportunity to poke out and get a couple of shots on the tanks and again I'm shooting the T57 he's a tier higher if I manage to kill him I'll get more points but the IS-8 to my left has just started shooting me so I do need to back up because there is a Death Star. Um, so at the minute it's two tanks down a piece and this T-54 has really been doing my nutting because he's been there all game and that Death Star there is one lucky son of a beach. Uh, just as I shot the IS-8 poked forward and I only managed to track the IS-8 so I didn't even get no damage on the IS-8 and now we've got three tanks down the enemy have only got two tanks so I'm still poking forward again this T-54 is doing my head in but for some reason he kind of gave up and he poked all the way up and he got a nasty shot from me and he got a nasty shot from someone else and now he's just the one shot so but we are going to go and try and focus on the T-57 as He's not looking at us. We do get a track shot, unfortunately. I'm, I'm looking to my left. No tanks are looking at me, and I managed to get one final shot into the T-57 with someone else shooting him. And I've got myself my second kill and a tier 10 kill. So again, more XP. And you can see here still, the mediums, they're spotted. I'm spotting them. I'm still spotting them. Getting my own damage as, as well. So we kill... The T-54, which is uh, my third kill, which just leaves three tanks remaining, which is the IS-8, the E-50M, and this Death Star. Now, unfortunately, I don't get to kill the Death Star. The IS-8 does kill him and puts it down on a three versus two. And now this IS-8 is not looking at me. So, again, we can spot him. We can get some damage before he comes around the corner. And then, again, with this E-50M, I've generated some bounces from him so which also helps you with the xp and the isa is now dead which just leaves me and the t57 heavy uh, we get one more shot into the isa and we do want to clear him but the e50m is a good player so we do need to be careful and the t57 does take out the isa and now this e50 e50m is coming in i get one shot track shot into him and he takes out our T-57 heavy. So this is where he messed up. He's backing up where he's got more HP than me. He's a bigger tank than me. He could have just come in, face hugged me. He's got a lot more armor than me. And I think he just went to go for the ram. And he misses, which means I can take out another tier 10 tank. So four kills for me. I took out two tier 10 tanks, which helps me. And we do finish on 5.5k damage. 99,000 credits, uh, we get the mastery badge, top gun, high caliber, and we get the scout medal. So 1,840 XP, which is a lot of XP for a tier nine tank. So why did we get so much? So we got 5,500 damage for a start. We also got 1,000 assistant damage. We also spotted five tanks. Uh, we killed two tier 10. And we got a couple of bounces on top of that as well. And that is why I got the ace. And that's why I got that much XP. So guys, if you're looking at acing, put all these into your battle. And you will end up one day, like myself, uh, a mastery freak and aced all my tanks. And I just hope this helps you start acing tanks, guys. But for now, I'm Meezy69. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you soon.